Terry Pino uh, from the Queensland University of Technology. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space yeah. TV. Welcome to IAC 2025. And as an official adjacent event to the IAC, we're going to see you in Perth next week for the Indo-Pacific Robotics, Autonomy, AI and Cyber Conference and Exhibition. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a specialist in robotics. Uh, maybe introduce us to what you intend to talk about at IPRAC, but uh, just what your day-to-day -day role involves uh, as an associate professor at QUT. Right. Um, well, thanks for inviting me to the event first. Uh, looking forward to good first again. Um, so I'm a like yeah I'm a professor in robotics. So I do research in uh, in, in robotics and especially uh, developing off ground uh, off road ground vehicle uh, autonomy. Yes. Typically, so basically how vehicles can uh, figure out how to drive on uh, in a whatever conditions in in a, in a challenging environment. I'm going to talk about especially autonomous vehicle autonomous vehicles in uh, in extreme conditions. And I include things like uh, space, which is right here, so yeah. rovers in, in the surface of the moon, or on the surface of Mars, uh, or mining vehicles in in, uh, in the presence of airborne dust, or or vehicle outdoors in in uh, extreme conditions of weather uh, that reduce visibility, or this thing like this. So basically, developing algorithms to uh, have the vehicle understand the scene around them with their sensors to be able to evolve in those conditions. So you obviously more on the software side, or you work on the hardware side as well, but it's really, I suppose, trying to find the data for to train the models. Mm -hmm. uh, so I take it you have to put the robotics into those extreme environments first and let it work it out itself, right? Yeah, as so much as it can. Yeah, getting, getting representative data, obviously. We do a little bit on simulation, but most of the time we try to do in real. With the, yeah. There's nothing like the real thing. So we deploy our platforms. Uh, we yeah we work more on the software side on the intelligence of the platform basically yeah. uh, you are using typically commercial platforms that have that we equip the sensors and then we do the computation to basically reasoning on the okay. on, on the scene. Do you f so the sensors are generally off the shelf kind of sensors? Yes, generally they are not always common sensors. Sometimes we use a bit uh, a bit of particular sensors or we. We modify some existing sensors sometimes, but usually there are commercial sensors. Um, but yeah, we like to use some somewhat uh, alter, what I call sometimes alternative sensing, which is you know not your typical camera or your yep. typical lidar, but something a little bit different that sort of give you, for example, a polarization camera or or a device like this that gives you a, a different kind of information that complement the rest. And how, what degree of autonomy are you achieving? Uh, certainly autom you know, as much automation as possible, but autonomy, uh, and yeah, how would you rate autonomy? How do you describe autonomy, measure it? Yeah, uh, I mean, I would say that we are usually developing systems that aim for autonomy levels three or four. Uh, the level five is basically the one where you never intervene, and uh, there's, that we're not quite there certainly, okay. especially in those in those difficult conditions that can throw a lot of things at you. So the high level is uh, typically still uh, driven by a uh, by human uh, human in the operator that sort of check out uh, or can intervene in case of, of uh, sort of something a little bit tricky. Nice. Um, but uh, basically, going to one way to be uh, over a certain distance like this uh, autonomously and only only raise help when there is a major issue or something unusual. Well, the purpose here is to get the audience wanting to learn more, and we'll see you on the 7th to the 8th of October at the Pan Pacific Hotel in Perth for the Indo Pacific Robotics, Autonomy, AI, and Cyber Conference and Exhibition. We're here at IAC in Sydney. Uh, it's an official adjacent event. But Thierry Pino, an associate professor with Queensland University of Technology, thanks very much for joining us on Australia in Space TV, and we'll Thank see you, you at IPRAC. We'll see you there.